Alright, welcome back to the shop. We are going to be cutting some bottles today. Hopefully. Um, got some new lighting. Uh, I've got some really bright LEDs now. Uh, they're a little bit cooler than the old ones. I got a little side railed. The project is over here. The shop, the rest of the shop is over here. I'll give you a little preview. It's getting there. It's getting there, okay? Uh, this is going to be kind of the storage, material storage, wood and metal crap, dusty, you know, and then I get over here the more air tools and, you know, finer tools, and I'll have storage and, you know, all the good stuff up here, and, the, you know, it's all good. So I don't know what's next. I don't know. It's just, it's a good start here. we got some bright-ass light, and uh, I can actually add more. I've got these wonderful halogens. Let's actually just test this out and then turn that on. Bam. It's warmer. I guess it's not bad. I don't know. Is it better? I think it's better. It's warmer. Uh, I've been saving up some bottles, champagne bottles especially. I just get them because they're cheap and, you know, it's alcohol, but the bottles themselves are thick as hell, so that's why I get them because if you get regular wine, you know, the wine the bottles are thinner and these are, you know, like $8 for a cheap bottle of champagne. I don't know how much these things are. Um, but anyway, we're going to try cutting all of them. First, I got a couple wine bottles just to change it up. What do we got? We got one, two, three. Four champagne bottles, three wine bottles. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Let's get rolling. I've got this device here. You know, you Google it. It's a bottle cutter. It's got a, a glass cutter in the end and some roll. You know, it's a bottle cutter. It's not. You know, it's a bottle cutter. Anyways, I don't know what I'm going to cut this. I kind of want to get it before the ridge, like somewhere in here. All right? What's that? That's good. Let's make it an even four and a half. Hey, okay. Four and a half, yo. Four and a half. All right. This to check for square because see here? It is not. Can you see the gap? Yeah, you can. It's square. See? See, there's no gap. That's good. Now we'll tighten this up. See? But no, because there's a nut. You gotta go on the bottom, hold the nut. This thing is, this is stupid. <clears throat> Grab the nut again, twist it, tighten it down. Hope that you didn't move anything out of square. Fantastic. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is cut all the bottles first. Uh, I'm gonna have to get the labels off because you don't wanna cut through the label. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just uh, figuring out where that is and I'm just gonna remove that part um, because eventually if these work out, what I'm gonna do is sandblast them so they're all nice and soft looking. I use a knife, a big knife, and then I figure out where my line was here, like this. WD-40. We want to kind of hold it toward the bottom. You just want to rotate until you hear the crunch on the other side. Here we go. It. There's a little spot right there. There we go. Alright, so that's one. Do the other one now. Position it. Looks pretty good. And rotate toward me until I hear. That's it. Okay, last one. There's the crunch at the end. Look at that one, that's gonna be a good one. That one is really nice. So there you have it, there's uh, seven bottles cut with the glass cutter. Now we're bringing these back upstairs near the sink where I can uh, get an ice cube and um, we're gonna hold these areas over a candle to heat up the area. And then rub it with an ice cube. And then we'll see what we get out of all this. Cool. Here we go. Back at the sink, I've got a candle. 
I'm going to set that up right here so we can kind of see it. I don't think I have the patience to do this with a candle. All I need to do... is boil some water. And that'll be way easier. So I'm going to come back after I get the boil in it. Boiling. Take my lighters better than that candle. Oh, yep. Yeah, I see that crack falling on it. Yep. Alright, now get some ice. There it is, that's the first one. It's not completely perfect, but it's good. It's good enough to work. I can sand that little lib. There's a little bit of a right there, but I can sand that down. Um, so I know that the candle is not the best, most efficient way. But I do have some boiling water ready to go, so let's go ahead and try the boiling water. Yep, there it is, so. I'm not happy with that. I wouldn't use that for anything. So that's garbage. Now, under the thick wine bottle, this one would be cool to salvage because I like this bottle. It's really thick. Oh, shit. I think it went low. Well, that one went low. I can try to recut this down more. I don't think it's lost yet. So we'll come back to that, but that's cool. All right. Alright, well that one broke, <clears throat> broke upward as well, so also salvageable. Okay, I'm going to try it with the torch. I got the torch loaded back up. The torch, I can direct it right onto... Right onto that line. break look at that that's how you do it with the torch that is almost perfect except for it started going up here but I got the travel follow it back down that is a good one that's gonna require very little cleanup pretty happy about that this is something pretty cool I have come downstairs and I am now at the desk. I have, remember this bottle, the big wine bottle that was fairly thick glass, uh, broke wrong. You know, there's a shaft here. This one started coming in across. It's just bad. Uh, I redid the line, and I don't know if you can see through there in the back side here. This is where the line has cracked, if you can see this, on the inside here. You can see it's darker and it looks thinner where I haven't quite gotten it yet. So what I found is that using a soldering iron, see here it comes up. So I see how it's trailing off that way? That's no good. So what I'm going to try to do is approach it from somewhere up here. Yeah, okay. So here you can see it's dark. 
it's dark up until right about there. I'm hoping I capture. I, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping I can capture this on camera, but with the soldering iron, I can almost draw the line to the heat. I don't smell plastic burning. I think I just burnt the GoPro with the. Oh, did you see that one down there start? Right there. Try to bring that one up. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, see? My goal here is to, I don't care if it takes me a while, if I can do this and there's 20 more minutes of this instead of 20 minutes of sanding, I'd rather do this. Um, my goal is to have a nice looking thing when I'm done, not have to sand a bunch of stuff. Um, so this has all kind of been a day of testing my, my techniques here. Some parts go pretty easy. Yep, see, look at that. Yeah, I can see it moving. So soldering iron does work, and you don't need ice. You just need patience. So I typically, not my strong point, but when it's something that's going to save me work later, I'm more than happy to put in the extra effort. I can see it slowly creeping. I think it's all about getting a good surface of the... Uh, bottle covered and kind of get the leading edge touching you know, like this as much of it touching as possible and I think having this other part toward the lower portion down here helps preheat maybe that's a good way to look at it kind of rest it down it's not it's, you know it's not hard to do this it's just sit here move it slowly yeah look at that one's moving good here it comes it's getting real close I have a feeling this might just go pink and fall off the end any second Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. It's good. It's uh, it broke on the high spot. So I can, but look at the rest is good. It's going to be a nice chunky bottle and just a little bit of cleanup at the top there. Cool. And now I know I can actually, right, I think it's going to be hot. Um, nice job, buddy. All right. Anyways, let's get rid of this. And uh, so I don't burn myself again. Go ahead and start cleaning some of these up. We got all of them that made it. So out of this one, I'm not so excited. Like it's a wine bottle. Who cares? But these are all chunky glasses. So we've got a four set, four pack of those. And then this one, this is just an awesome. That is going to be one hell of a glass. That thing is thick. That is going to be awesome. All right, let me see how we're going to smooth these out. Be right back. Okay, so I've got it clamped in the vise. I've got the flap wheel on the grinder. I'm going to try this. It's pretty spent. But I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what happens. Okay, so it's working at sand at smoothing it. I mean, I can almost run my fingers across that uh, and not feel like I'm gonna cut myself. But I need a new flap wheel because that grit is just not enough. I'll be here all day and change that out. Okay, so I had a uh, spent 60 grit on there. I mean, that was like look, you can see it's shiny as heck. It's, so now I've got a uh, 120 grit. I think is that what I got? 120 grit, crappy. Harbor Fate flat wheel, brand new. Okay, I think that's about as tight as I can get this shot. Um, let's go. So I have to say, I think that's good. I, uh, I almost like some of the inconsistencies. The rest I'm gonna do by hand, I think, uh, to do this like, with some sandpaper on the inside. 20, let's see if this will do something. You kind of roll it up, maybe there's a, something like this to work on. Oh, see, perfect. This is like, this is like, shit. Perfect. I mean, that's like river, river washed or ocean, whatever. It's awesome. It's an awesome glass because now I've got this awesome wine glass made out of a glass. I just got to clean off the rest, uh, figure out something cool to etch into it, 
Um, I don't know why I'm holding it here behind the vise. Look at this awesome glass. It's amazing. Oh, yes, I almost break it. Um, here, let's do this. Look at that piece of glassware. Clean it up, etch something cool into it. It's got this solid, I mean, you could whack somebody in the head. You could off somebody with that, I'm just saying. That is a nice, look at that. That is, you don't buy glassware that good. All right, so now that's one. We've got four more decent bottles left. But proof of concept, huh? Look at that, it's gorgeous. I mean, come on, look at, how hard can I do it? I'm pushing hard so you can see the ridge in my finger. Come on, that is nice. You could drink out of that. I'm gonna drink out of that. Someone's gonna end up drinking out of that. Let's move. Next, let's do, uh, let's do the next simplest one because I know this one's gonna work out fine. You don't wanna break it, but you don't want it flinging out either. This time I'm not wearing eye protection, I will wear the dust mask. I can't see. Looking good. Looking good. Perfect. Nice glass. All right. Yeah, it's nice. So, I'm going to continue. I'm going to try one of the harder ones now. Let's do this one that has this weird thing. See if I can fix that with the soldering iron even, huh? Maybe I can grab it with some pliers or something before it falls, huh? Just a little more over here. See if I can't just like, uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's gonna work. Even, oh man, look at that. I didn't even drop it on the floor. So let's try this little piece right here because I really don't think that that's gonna work, but... And yes. It's good to know. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna try them since this works. I'm gonna cut this bottle down and try to get a better edge on this and see if this theory works 100% again. So yeah, let me do that. Here we go. There it is. Boom, started the crack. Let's work that crack up here. Yep, draw it towards the heat. This is definitely the this is definitely the way to go. This is working out fantastically. This is the way I like to do things like this. It's, I, there's actually some level of control. Can you see that? I can just watch it. It's working. Less than a quarter inch left. Oh, there it goes. It's right there. All we gotta do is bring it home here. All right, now I'm gonna try to just snap it with it. Boom. A little bit of a stub there, but that sands right out. It's actually got a nice taper to it, too. It sort of slants upward. That is gorgeous. All right, so I think I might do these, too. I might as well. Let's see how fast I can do it. Starting on the label. So I've got that cut and soldering iron cranked back up again. There we go. 
Yep, it's working this way on its own, so we'll follow it. Definitely want to be slightly ahead of it. This one's going a little bit quicker, I think, than the last. Working out great. Now we just got to go from there to there. Yeah, see it's right there. Oh, whoop, look at that. Hell, I might even be able to save that and get a ring, but I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> That's awesome. So now I've got two of those, and then that one worked out. Yeah, there's a little dip there, but I can work that out. It's not that much lower. So I'm going to try to clean these up. Not bad. I'm going to do the rest with the flap wheel. It's not worth it. I'm trying to risk it. So since we've already seen that a few times, I'm not going to bother you with that, but I will sand down these three, give this one another coat, and for shits I will do the wine bottle as well, um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll see what we got when we're all done, alright? And that's it for this part, let me sand these down and we'll be back. Welcome back, we're here with the follow-up shots for you. Uh, I got these all sanded, uh, you know, sanded down, ground down, whatever you want to say. Um, these glasses are pretty solid. This thing is pretty, pretty solid. That thing is awesome. These are all chunky, super thick glass, you know, about quarter inch thick. But they're all going to be awesome glasses. I'm going to etch the sides uh, with some imagery and then sandblast everything down. So any of these, you know, weird spots you see in here are all going to be softened. So that's all going to go, you know, appear to be a little more consistent once I'm actually done with these. But uh, I just wanted to give you a quick view of everything uh, from the front and, you know, not try to hide anything from you and, uh, you know, see where the errors are or whatever. But ultimately, this, this system works. Um, you can see this, this wine glass. When you're dealing with some thinner stuff, it's a lot easier to get a nice cut. Um, but when you have the thicker bottles, it's a little harder to get around. Um, you know, you've got to work that through a quarter inch of round glass. So I think for ultimately what we're doing here, uh, this is a fairly decent result. I know that uh, there's other techniques and whatever, but I really like to be able to control the slow cut. I know there's ways that, you know, you're, like I've, you see, I've done three different ways with the torch, uh, with the hot water, and with the candle, and everybody finds their own way. So for me, uh, this, this is fine for now. Uh, my next couple times will be better. I'm sure every time I do it, it's gonna be a little smoother, a little bit better. If I wanted to grind these more, I could go crazy. I don't want to, so I'm not gonna. Anyways, that's what we've got, and uh, I, you know, I uh, hope you're uh, got something out of the video. I know there's a lot of that stuff I could have cut, but I also this is about the process, you know. Um, and I'm not just gonna film something at the end and just put a picture up on Instagram and say, "Hey, look at this awesome thing that I made." And then not show what I went through to get there because, you know, this, some of this stuff, maybe it's super easy, some of it's hard, I don't know. Once you get into it, you realize what you're doing, you find your way, and I'm here to share it. So if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it, you can skip through it, whatever. I appreciate the support for those of you that are here and learning and offering stuff and giving cool comments in the comments down below. Um, I really appreciate the views and the subscribing. Um, I try to make things, you know, more and more interesting as I go. Editing and making it not so boring and long cuts and stuff like this. So, you know, I'll take suggestions down below. I'm doing what I got to do. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.